They rise by two-lane highways. They sit on open prairies. They stand next to mountains. Their workplaces, their playgrounds, they are beloved buildings. You know, for me, it's kind of like the heart of our family to see our brand on the front of the barn. I can remember seeing the light come through the cracks in the ceiling and the dust floating. It's hard to express, but it, it's a combination of how it smelled, how it looked, how it felt inside. I would love to be able to sit down and like have the walls tell you stories. There are roughly 8,000 historic barns in Montana, and that number gets smaller every year. Farmers and ranchers struggle between when to hold on and when to let go. We had to make a choice, you know, do we let the barn go or do we restore it, do we save it? This is the story of a farm family deciding what to do with their barn. It's hard work, but it's hard work that feels good. They will face tough choices. For what this is costing, it's, it's too much. For them, it's more than just a building. I don't know, my heart's in the history of it. Along their journey to try and fix their barn, there will be other intriguing stories. The Confederate soldier who settled in southeastern Montana and his barn that's passed through five generations and counting. The northeastern Montana farmer and his wife, who ingeniously bought a working machine from the Fort Peck Dam construction and realized his vision for a barn. And the unusual shapes and sizes of barns dotting Montana's vast landscape. Ultimately, they all have one thing in common. <laughs>